Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here with another episode of our Madden 24 franchise series with the Arizona Cardinals in Season 2. We are still reeling after the loss of our quarterback. We've got our backup Clayton Tune in. I'm trying to see if he can make some plays happen. I have brought in, um, what's his name? We brought in a veteran to help kind of bridge that gap. Uh, for him to kind of help him along so we'll have to see how he, his play improves so on that note welcome back to the channel everybody if you're joining us here for the first time welcome thank you for joining and we're going to go ahead and get this one game underway this episode is just one game only we had a recording issue with the other one uh, with the second game of this episode so it is a single game episode today now here we are going to start out on defense facing off against the Buffalo Bills as they are at home or they're on the road at our home as we try to you know get ourselves back in line um, after like I said Clayton Toon had to take over and that's not how you're going to do it with the defense giving a big pass place to Josh Allen and his receiving core of Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis. Um, not not the best way to do it, but hey, that's the strategy we're going with on this opening drive as they are now at about the two-inch line here with the first and goal. Allen under center, drops back, quick throw over, and Gabe Davis is going to make the catch. Unable to knock it free from him, and so we're going to find ourselves down early <laughs> in this one. It didn't take Buffalo too long. I don't know what our quarterback going out has to do with our defense, but a lot of guys just maintaining, holding stagnant. Um, not really sticking to much of the defensive game plan and just letting them work their way down the field. Now, we did go three and out on our opening drive, so the Bills are at it once again. And this, But this time we're going to step up, and it's going to be intercepted by Simmons. And he only gets a couple yards back, but the ball is going to be on the 41-yard line of the plus side of the field for us as we have got our first turnover of the games, taking some of the momentum away from the Bills that they gained on that opening drive. So now we are still trailing 7 to nothing, and that's kind of a stereotypical Josh Allen interception. Going for a receiver a little deeper, not even paying attention to the defender down low, and it's going to get picked off. So now after that interception, Toon is going to be under center. Two tight ends. Quick throw to the left side to Hollywood. Unable to make a man miss, and Hollywood doesn't go anywhere with it. On that RPO, it just got to the pass play. He had space, but the throw took too long to get there. And the defender made the play. So now second and 10. Clayton is going to be under center. Three receivers. He's going to hand it off to Mostert. Got a hold to the right side. Cuts it back forward and picks up a good five-yard gain down to the 36-yard line here. Getting us at least within scoring position. Uh, with the field goal opportunity, it will be a long one, but it's definitely possible. Third and five. Bills look like they're going to be bringing a blitz. We are in the shotgun. Three receivers set. Has the snap. They do blitz. Fires it quickly into the left side. He's got Watkins pushing forward. Quez Watkins gets us down to the 24-yard line and a brand new set. So a great play by him on that little out route to make the catch. And a good throw by Toon to drop that one off out there. And it really, I think the blitz worked out with the way the defenders were set up. They had to have that additional space so they didn't get burnt over top, and we were able to take advantage. So first and 10 from the 24. Tune in the shotgun formation. Three receivers. Has the snap. Hands it off to Mostert. Going to the left side and unable to break that tackle. He'd gotten past the first line of defense, but the linebackers came up. That was Matt Milano looked like making that one, making that stop. Grabbed a hold and just did not let go. We did have a couple blockers, you know, get out there. Unfortunately, they forgot to block the linebacker. So, second and nine now after that one-yard gain by Mostert. We are at the 23-yard line, still trailing 7 to nothing, about halfway through the first quarter. Toon is going to be in the shotgun formation. Three receivers left. Has the snap in the pocket. Fires it over. He hits Ertz, and that's going to get knocked away. He kind of led Ertz into murder's row right there, and Elam took advantage and blasted him and knocked that ball free. So that's going to make it third and nine now for our offense. We're going to come out three receivers to the left side once again here in the shotgun position. Blair is in the backfield alongside Toon. Bills bring a blitz. He fires it over to Blair, who makes the catch, pushing forward and just isn't going to get enough. He's going to be brought down at the 16-yard line, making that fourth and three. Deontay Blair making the catch out of the backfield. And we are going to go for points here. 7 nothing. I'd like to get something on the board. It's going to be up. Boot ball and down the middle. 
Good job by Zane Gonzalez, our kicker, on that one. So the score is now 7-3 to three after that drive. So here we come a little later in the first. We have added on an additional field goal. Made the score 7-6 to six as the first quarter is coming to a close. Josh Allen has the snap. Rolls out to his right side. Being chased and he's going to get away. And he finally slides down at the 27-yard line. And that should end the first quarter at 7-6. to six. We've kept it closer than what we thought we would after that opening drive uh, by the Bills going down with ease to getting the touchdown. As you can see, we are definitely being dominated in the yardage-wise of this game of that quarter but hey that's going to happen when you're facing off against allen every now and then so holding on by the skin of our teeth allen has a second and six he's got two tight ends to the left side digs close in on the left as well has a snap play action allen rolls out to his left fires it back to the right and almost picked off by ojalari he was looking for his tight end and had completely missed that throw and ojalari stepped up and just couldn't make the catch on that one and so now it's going to be third and six. Allen is going to be alone in the backfield. He has the snap, stands in the pocket, fires it to the left side. He's got a man wide open, and they're going to walk it into the end zone. Oh, he found the hole in the zone. Damian Hill comes up with the catch, going for that little corner route out of the slot position. It pitted, it pitted him perfectly between Knight and our safety that had dropped back in the zone. And he was just wide open. And as soon as he caught it, he was going to get into the end zone. So they're going to go up now, make it 14-6. to six. So still a one-score game. That's the biggest detail here. So 10 and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. First and 10. Hand that one off to Blair. Breaking tackles. And Blair picks up three yards. He's got 11 yards rushing on the ground today. And so it's a slow start for him, but this defense isn't making it easy. And that's going to give it second and seven. We are at the 42-yard line on the plus side. Tune is going to be under center. Two tight ends on the line to the left. Has a snap. Play action. Stands in the pocket. Pressure comes, and he throws it for Brown, and he led him too far. He had him wide open. And Tune is 6 of 12 for 39 yards, and that was a big-time missed throw. An opportunity, and he let it slip through his fingers, overthrowing Hollywood on that one. So third and seven as we come out on this one in a shotgun formation. Three receiver set. Hollywood is wide left. Has the snap. Fires it over the middle and almost intercepted. I don't know what he was doing. That looked like a Josh Allen type throw just ignoring the linebackers underneath. And Milano thankfully doesn't intercept it, but he does knock it down. So now we have an opportunity for a 59-yard field goal. We're going to see what Zane Gonzalez can do. Boot ball. It is up, and it squeezes over the uh, post right there, squeezes over that crossbar, and that is going to get put three more points on the board, making it 14-9. to nine. So now later in the second, the Bills have the ball here at the, about the 49-yard line on the plus side. Allen drops back, clean pocket, fires it to the right side, almost. He catches it by Gabe Davis. Samuel went for the interception and was completely off. Gabe Davis makes the catch and has a free run at it before he's finally brought down at the 11-yard line. We've got to start getting pressure on Allen. He's had too many clean pockets, and it's really starting to cost us. Score is still 14-9. Bills, though, are 11 yards away, and there's only two minutes remaining here in the first half. Allen has the snap, stands in a clean pocket once again, throws that up, it's going to be picked off. Cole Knight jumps up and gets it, and he's off to the races, and no one's going to get him. He's at the 30, 20, 10, touchdown Cardinals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Cole Knight with the INT and the touchdown. Pick six for the rookie as he's able to come up from underneath it, jump that route. Does a good job of high-pointing that ball up there and comes down with it and then just pure speed the rest of the way into the end zone. Our, for, our number 10 pick in the draft is paying off right there. So that's going to get us at least a little bit closer into this one. Um, we did add on another field goal before the end of the half, so we actually have the lead here 14-16. to 16. That would not have been possible without that pick six. So a good end to that first half here at home now taking a look at so, 
scores from around the league. The Rams, 3-3 three and three on the year, are tied with Jordan Love and the Packers. Stafford is 4-5 for 66 yards and a touchdown. Cooper Cup's got 53 of receiving yards on the day. Now we travel up to the Northwest. Division rival Seattle checking in on them as they are losing to the Vikings coming into the end of the first half. 21-7. Their Kirk Cousins and the Vikings putting it to them. Checking over into the AFC North. The Ravens have the lead over the Browns. Ravens 3 and 3, Browns 5 and 2. Jackson 14 of 21 for 155. Watson 11 of 16 for 132 yards. Touchdown and an interception so far. So a lot of time for Josh Allen. That's been really what has, you know, but kept them in the lead for the most part. We were able to kind of shut that down with this pick six at the end of the first half and then being able to get an additional field goal um, after that. So now we do lead 16 to 14 with an opportunity to expand on it. Toon is going to be under center. Has the snap. Fires it quickly over the middle. He's got Rondale Moore. Makes a cut to the outside and is brought down at the 25-yard line. Toon is now 13 of 24 for 95 yards. So not the greatest stat-wise game. But it is still something that he's doing pretty well right now. So here we are with a first and ten. First and ten, and we got an opportunity to expand on this lead. Josh Allen, quick throw over to Ertz. Stiff arm and pushing forward. Zach Ertz, he may be a little old, but he's still got enough fight in him as he picks up only three yards, but that was a tough physical three yards. So second and seven, we still lead by two. Toon is going to be under center. Two tight ends to the right side. Play action. In the pocket. Fires it over the left. He's got Moore once again down to the four-yard line. He and Rondell Moore seem to have a connection going today. Normally, he's got the connection with Hollywood, but today it is Moore and a great job, a great thing it is happening right now as that puts us in prime position to get a touchdown, hopefully keeping our fingers crossed even though we're only four yards out. Now, Toon's going to come out in a shotgun. Three receivers to the left. Ertz on the line to the right. Blair in the backfield. Has the snap. They bring a blitz. Toon rolls out to the right. He's got speed. He's got an angle. And he's got a touchdown, Cardinals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Clayton Toon with the run in for the hit touchdown on that one. We knew he had some ability to scramble. Didn't know he could scramble that well. And he takes off gets the edge, gets the angle, and gets the corner of the end zone to help us extend our lead now. Now, we did fail on the two-point conversion. Now, keep in mind, we went for the two just to put us up by 10. However, if we had just gone for the extra point, you know, we'd be up by nine. <laughs> but we went for the two-point to make it 24-14, to 14, uh, which really is just assuming that they were going to get a touchdown at some point and then kept us at least a field goal ahead. So we failed on that and had to give it back to the Bills. So here we are at the start of the fourth quarter. Allen on the play action. Fires it over the middle. Had nowhere to go with it, and that one gets knocked down. Zayvon Collins comes up to make the play, and that's going to be third and seven. So 22-14 to 14 is our lead. Bills trying to count it, come back at us. Allen under center. He's got three two receivers on the field. Hands it off to his running back going up the gut. Makes the man miss, and finally is brought down. Kazir White had to bring Harris down. And it took him a little bit, and Harris picks up the first down at the 22-yard line. So the Bills have got a new set after that one. Allen is going to be under center on first and 10. I formation. Diggs close in on the left side. Allen has the snap. Hands it back off going up the middle. Pushing forward, and Harris is going to pick up another about six yards on that one, getting down to the 16-yard line now, giving them a second and four. Our defense is bending. We need to make sure they don't break. So second and four for our defense. Bills are going to come out in a shotgun formation. Three wide set. Dig slot left. Tight end is out slot right. Allen looks over the defense. Has the snap. Pressure comes up the middle, but he throws it away, and he makes the catch to his running back. And he's going to get brought down with a first and down. Naheem Hines right there makes the catch. His first catch of the night, giving him a first and ten at the nine, first and goal at the nine-yard line. Leading by eight, the Bills are knocking on the door. Handoff, right up the gut. He pushes forward. Harris finally gets brought down. He's got 76 yards on 13 carries after that run down to the three-yard line. And that's going to give him second and goal. 
Cole Knight with the tackle. Pretty rare to see him come up and make the tackle on those plays at times, but it's good to see him out there being healthy. Second and goal for the Bills. They're going to be in a power formation. Play action. Allen is going to get sacked by Ojolari. They went play action, and it did not fool him. He gets into the backfield and brings Allen down for a big-time loss all the way back to the 11-yard line. What a play by Ojolari right there to not fall for that play. He almost did. He wanted to, but he kept his head about him, and he's going to bring Allen down, pushing him back to the 11. So now it's third and goal. And it's not as easy as it was for him before. However, I have some you know, reservations about that. Because in a way, it gives him more space, more field to work with, which isn't always the best thing when, you have, when you're playing against Josh Allen. So third and goal. Allen has the snap. Clean pocket. Rolls out to his left side. Fires it for Davis, and he actually hits him. He throws it across his body. Completely not the way you're taught to throw the ball. And he hits him for the touchdown. That's going to make it. 20 to 22 and now the bills are going for a two-point conversion to try to tie this thing up here in the fourth quarter the bills under center has the snap pressure comes throws it quickly and allen couldn't hit davis that time pressure got started coming right up the gut and allen had to get rid of it so now later in the fourth quarter the bills have already added another touchdown and taken the lead from us so here we come back trying to do something. You can tell it was 11 and a half minutes when the Bills scored that touchdown before. It's been only four minutes of game time. They've already put up another one. You can tell we just haven't really stood up to what we needed to. After that run by Mostert, it's going to be second and four from the shotgun. Toon hands it off to Mostert, going left. Got a big hole open. Pushing forward and still stood up, but got enough yards down to the 35-yard line to make it a first and ten. So first and 10 for the Cardinals here as we are on the move, trailing by five with a touchdown that can give us a lead here in the fourth. Toon has the snap, fires it over to the left side. He's got Ertz, and he's going to drop it. He led him to get blasted again by Elam. I don't know what the deal is between Toon and Ertz, but he has not liked what he's done something some point this week because he's tried to get his head knocked off on two different pass plays. Now on second and 10. Toon in the shotgun, has the snap, and rolling out to his right. Bills chasing, fires over the middle. He's got Rondale Moore. Breaking tackles, pushing forward down to the 16-yard line. Rondale Moore with another big play here for the Cardinals offense as he has kept us going. He's got 86 yards on five catches this afternoon. And Moore has definitely been the savior here in this game, today at least. He has really kept our offense going. So now first and 10 from the 16, inside the red zone. Toon has the snap. He hands it off to Mostert going to the left side. And that looked like an RPO. And so, I don't know if, I don't think, it doesn't look like he really came out, made the best decision on that just based off the result. Um, uh, you know, the way the linebackers were going, probably that slant passing lane would have been clogged up. But you, you don't know. So now we're back at second and 11 here. Three receivers to the left. Deontay Blair in the backfield, offset to the right side. Toon has the snap, quick throw over the middle, and that one's going to be knocked away and almost intercepted. Almost intercepted right there. So third and 11 from the 17-yard line. We can get a first down without getting a touchdown. This is a big-time play for our offense, needing to come up with something. Field goals aren't going to do it, although it puts us within a couple points. Toon under center, handed off to Mostert, going to the left side. He's got a hole open, pushing forward, and Raheem Mostert's brought down at the two-yard line. He's now got 82 yards on the ground after that big-time run for our running back, picking up, going for about 15 yards on a third and 11, getting us down to the two-yard line and a first and goal. It's about four minutes remaining. Toon under center. Toss it out to the right side. Mostert, he's got an opening. Does he have the speed? Push it forward and into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He got the edge, and then it was pure physicality to lower his shoulder into the defender, and he had leverage, and he pushes his way forward to get into the end zone, and that's going to set us up with the lead here in this one. Now, it's 28-27. Knowing this could be easily be come down to a field goal game with only four minutes remaining, we are going to go for the two-point conversion. 
And this is a big time play. Toon is going to be under center. We got three tight ends to the right side. Mostert in the backfield. Toon has the snap. Pressure comes. He gets rid of it. He couldn't get rid of it fast enough. The pressure came from Hawkins and another Bills defender completely unblocked off that right side of our line. And that's going to lead to a failed two-point conversion. So we only lead by one point. Now here come the Bills. It's only a one-point ball game. The Bills are on the move, trying to avoid the second loss in our season and the second in three games. Allen, in a clean pocket, fires it to the left side. He's got Knox, who makes one man miss, and is finally brought down. And that was a big-time play for them. Dalton Knox comes up with a big reception, gets him down to the 27-yard line. So they are easily in field goal position. Just over two minutes remaining, Allen has the snap. Fires it to the left side, and we get that one knocked down. Cole Knight comes up with a great play to deflect it. Could have gotten an interception, but ends up deflecting it nonetheless, making it second and ten. Two minutes, 13 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Allen is going to be alone in the backfield. Five wide set here. As he makes changes at the line, has the snap. Pressure comes from the side, and he drops it off, throws it forward, and it's almost intercepted. How do we not come down with it? Cole Knight had that one in his hands. It was in his hands, and he failed to make the catch. Plays like that can be disastrous. How do we fail that miserably? Third and ten now here as Allen making changes at the line after looking over the defense. Has the snap, fires it quickly to the right side, and that one falls incomplete. Falls incomplete, so just over two minutes remaining. They are easily in field goal position. Had we been able to get one of those interceptions, you're talking about a game that could easily be over by now. So here they come with a field goal opportunity to take the lead. They have the snap, the boot to the ball, and that one goes right down the damn middle. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning here um, as they have just snagged the lead from us 30-28. to 28. So here we come, a minute 52 remaining. 30-28 to 28 is the score. Toon has the snap. On a screen pass, they've got blockers in front of him. Mostert pushing forward, and he's going to get the ball to the 42-yard line. We do have two timeouts left, but got to be careful about how we use them because a field goal can win the game, so we need to at least have one for that. Making changes at the line. Toon looking over the defense. Has the snap. Fires it quickly over the middle. He's going to hit more breaking tackles. Rondell Moore playing like a man possessed today. It's nine yards. Second and one. Just over one minute remaining. Toon has the snap, fires it off to the right side, and it's almost intercepted. Ooh, Elam, that's been laying out Zach Ertz all day, has a chance at the, was that Tredavious White? It looked like Elam's number. Well, oh well. Either way, had a chance at an interception that could have ended the game, would have been a pick six, but they don't come down with it. So now it's third and one. Toon is going to be under center. He hands it off to Mostert, going to the right side, pushing through a hole and picking up the first down. Raheem Mostert gets down to the 44-yard line, and we will use our first or our second timeout of this half to get that clock stopped to get our offense reset. We're going to be going quick. We only have the one timeout left. There's 58 seconds remaining in this game. So Toon is going to be in the shotgun. We're going to go with four wide set. Has the snap. Stands in the pocket. Fires over the middle. He's got Blair who makes the catch, but it only picks up six yards. We got to go quick. Keeping pushing forward, sticking with the shotgun and the four wide movement. Toon has the snap, hands it off to Blair up the middle, makes the wrong cut, should have read it outside, tried to just pick up the first down as we keep things going quick with our no huddle. And actually, it looks like the Bills called a timeout on that one. They're starting to get worried about the clock. We hand it off to Mostert, pushing forward. Mostert is going to get the first down. The clock is now continuing to run. As we get our play call made at the line. Toon has the snap. Play action. In the pocket. Fires it to the left side. He's got Shepard. Shepard gets hit and brought down at the 26-yard line here. That's going to set us up for a 43-yard field goal as we let the time wind down. And we will use our final timeout to give us an opportunity with a field goal to win this game. This is a big-time kick. We need it now more than ever. 43 yards. Zane Gonzalez, 
from the left hash mark as the Bills are going to try to ice him out here. Which I guess it's the right time to do that. I mean, if you can, go for it. Call it way before we'll kick it. So here we go. Second and three. Two seconds remaining with the field goal to win. 30 to 28. Put us up by one. The kick is up and he pushes it. I could tell as soon as it left his foot and we're going to lose. Time expires as we choke it out. Our second loss in three weeks off that missed field goal. Not the way you want that part to end. So, our second loss of the season, both since we lost uh, Logan Schultz, our starting quarterback, we're going to have to find a way to make adjustments to make this offense run more efficiently. That's just what we're going to have to do. A lot of season left, though. A lot of season left. A lot of different things can happen. So, we're going to go ahead and get through this bye week here. As we do get through it, I just want to remind you all to hit the subscribe button if you have not hit it already. And if you did like today's video, definitely give us a thumbs up. It does help out the channel. And y'all have been showing us a ton of um, attention over the last, I guess, few months. Thank y'all very much for that and all the support. It's been crazy to see. And I just can't thank y'all enough for that. Also, be sure to hit that little bell icon so you're notified of all the Champ and Sons content. If you like the football stuff, we got Madden, we got college football, we got a bunch of things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for all of that. Now that's going to get us set up for our next episode. We did lose the Rams footage, which was week nine. Um, we did end up winning that game, so things happened. Uh, pulled out the win, but unfortunately we won't be able to see it. So as we finish up some of this scouting type stuff, and get ready for the next one. I will see y'all then, everybody. So as always, stay safe and well. Y'all know how it goes by now, right? Later, y'all.